Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. It's so nice to have you on here. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Ochiko and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I've been asked to do a makeup tutorial. Disclaimer, I do not know how to do any makeup but I'm going to give it a go. So, <clears throat> I always, you know, start with a bit of moisturiser. I started out with Neutrogena. And it's not like I don't know how to do a bit of makeup. It's just that, you know, you know them pepper them makeup. Like, people who are skilled at the job, you know, I'm not like them. But I had to, like, watch loads of YouTube videos just so that, you know, I don't have to go and pay every time. And at least I can look like a better somebody and then i always use sun cream always always um you can see that i'm running out that is spf 30 and it is um body shop it's so lush like it feels so smooth on the skin and uh, honestly one of my best products ever um i haven't tried the other one but i right i like that vitamin c range so it's really good Anyway, I thought I might give you a bit of advice while I'm applying some makeup on. I don't know how practical that would be. So this is the new foundation powder I got from Fenty, uh, from Boots. Um, I tried loads on. It's uh, Fenty 440. And I tend to just buy one product and use it for the rest of my life. Or at least till it runs out in like three years. But this one I've used so much, it's ridiculous. Maybe not three years, I'm exaggerating. So I'm using a foundation brush and I'm just going in with this sort of dabbing mechanism here. Just because I want it to stay for longer. So I was preparing to go for church and uh, yeah. So I wanted to encourage you, you know, you that is looking for your husband or waiting to be found and positioning and you've been at this game a long time. I just wanted to say... Um, you know hang in there hang in there it's a difficult journey i'm not even gonna lie especially if you're like me where all your best friends your babies your girl them are off the market and i kid you not all the girls i grew up in church with i'm not joking there was like four of us that were born in the same year and um a couple of them who were born after me and some of them before me in terms of years they are literally all of the market and you begin to think we all went to the same church, we're all praying to the same God. You know, why Why is my own different? And it, it does get really, really disheartening. But I just wanted to encourage you that God is good. You know, like don't ever lose sight of his faithfulness because if you get into despair, it'll make your heart weary. So that is Mac concealer i believe that is nc45 and i think i'm going to use that to go underneath my eyes there i only use just a little bit so this will tend to be like day makeup you know um on a day when i wake up early which is normally most days to be fair this will be what i would wear to work I made it a priority to you know make a bit of an effort because sometimes especially during the winter months going into work you know i do love my job but going into work can be a little bit you know and i just try to look my best if i look my best i tend to feel my best i do get complimented a lot for my dressing at work and because i am a words of affirmation person it honestly does lift my mood and i do like presenting myself well uh, so yeah just dabbing it in there um as i said guys if you're a makeup artist and you are like what is she doing please you know forgive my lack of skills here but this is for you know the normal girl who is just learning she doesn't really know what she's doing but just to encourage you that if anybody can learn if i can learn makeup you know so can you because honestly i wasn't even into all of these things i used to second guess myself but it just took a lot of practice anyway <coughs> so before this palette 
absolutely went mental. I've had it for like two years. I used to use it for the blush. Uh, the, there's like a blush pink palette there. But right now, there's um, a yellowy baking powder. I really don't even know what these things are for. I just see a lot of people doing it on YouTube. And I thought, you know what, why not? And I don't know how to apply it properly. But here we go. Here's that yellow baking powder. And I think it does make a bit of a difference, you know. It makes that contour and highlight stand out a little bit more, you know. Um, so I just sort of left it on my face while I was doing all of the other bits as well. Um, a lot of these products are really cheap and affordable. That little palette there, I got it from like a... What's it? You usually find it like in the market. Those of you in the UK, you know what I mean. Like in the in the side market, not the drugstore, because the drugstore like Boots and Superdrug will not stock that. And it's probably like £2.50 for that palette. Um, I don't know what's going on here. I'm looking for bits. But yeah, it's really cheap. It's got four colours and I normally use it for my brows. So I guess I am looking for, um, I'm probably looking for my eyebrow brush there. I don't necessarily have an organised station. But um, we got there in the end. So yeah, you, <laughs> there is a, a certain level of faith. You need to be rugged about this. In terms of your faith, you know, you need to really trust in God's faithfulness to you. Um, and for me, I think I recently got, you know, a good sort of job thing that was going for me. Like my job, my recent job. I really felt it was God given and that helped me believe more for like, you know, my prospective mate. And I had been, I have been on a couple of dates, guys. I've, I'm not even going to lie to you. I've been on quite a number of dates with some, you know, great guys. But there's some things that are just not clicking and you begin to ask yourself, are my standards too high? What am I looking for? Are the combinations of things I'm looking for? not possible you know is it not possible to find a godly man who is also you know hard working or at least has some sort of you know traditional career prospects that you you know or or and it's a bit it's a bit tricky this one or is it not possible to find a hard working man who loves god you know like is it does it have to be one or the other because I feel like I've got a career, but I, I love God, you know, so where is where is that middle ground where there's, because that's what I grew up seeing, and my dad loves God, but he's a career person, is there no possibility of having, you know, those two things, and I'm even going too far, most of my friends are married to guys who are not necessarily in ministry, um, they love Jesus, but they're, you know, but I, I find that I'm finding this is the combination of things that I'm looking for and people always ask uh, what are you looking for in a man and it's very simple someone who loves God someone who loves me someone who's hard working and who's easy on the eyes because I'm not even gonna lie physical attraction is important to me so you know that palette I just showed you guys it comes with this little angled brush and to get your brows the way you want them you just need to practice 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 okay i also got um what's it the eyebrow brush was from primark i think that was two pounds or one pound fifty it's got this little sticky bit that you know i normally go in first this this brow brush i'm using had a pencil bit but that quickly faded out but i still like the brush so i've kept it um you know some days the eyebrows are perfect some days they're not Anyway, I decided to just go in a, a little bit of concealer and just sort of clean off the excess. Um, as you can see, it's basically trial and error. You just keep doing it until you get where you're going. It's a little bit like my day in life, really. Keep going out on dates until you find the one. So I want to encourage you to put yourself out there. Please be safe, obviously, but guys somebody's son will not find you in your living room i know i keep saying this but it's the truth somebody's son will not find you in your um backyard so there's a scripture 
a, a family friend of ours said to me, he said when he was looking for his wife, um, a scripture that stood out to him was um, in Isaac. Not in Isaac, there is no book in the Bible called Isaac, it's Genesis. But it's the story of Isaac and Rebecca and how Abraham has said, you know, I want my son to get married. And so he sends his hand, you know, the person who was his servant at the time, his most trusted servant, to go find him a wife from his mother's people. Uh, still trying to get this eyebrow, you know, this is taking way too long. Anyway, so the guy, the servant, went to the well where the ladies gathered. That's such a profound statement. The way he related it to me was like, you have to go where the people are. It's not rocket science. If you want to get, if you want to be engaged, you want to get married, you need to go where the people are. You know, and then obviously more specifically, you need to go where the people you're looking for are, you know. So, for example, I went out on a night out with, you know, colleagues from work. I really wanted to build relationships. So I've just used sort of my powder brush to just, you know, dust off that baking powder there. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not how you do it, but it kind of looks cool. So that's what I'm doing. And then I went back into my Fenty uh, powder just to polish with my powder brush. It's different from the foundation brush. Okay. So, yeah, as I was saying, where, 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 where did I stop this story? Oh, my God, look at this, guys. I got that from Primark. And I got the other one from, I really like Primark makeup. The sleek palette is from Boots. I always go to Boots because I've got a reward card. And it's interesting how quickly you rack up those points. And when you're a bit on the brick side, you can um, use the points on Boots Guard. So that's my blush brush. It's slightly angled. And that palette that I'm using now is the Primark palette. And to be honest, you only need like a little bit. But I'm going in here because I, I quite like that colour. It's an eyeshadow, actually. It's not a... And it's not a palette, is it? It's only one colour. It's eyeshadow, but it just looks so nice as a blush. Shout out to Blessing, my baby, for pointing that out. She's like, coral really looks nice on black skin. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it out. And that's it. It's asking people when you don't know what you're doing. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it out. And I think it worked, you know. I think that's worked. And then I like to sort of take that other palette, which is pink. But it's got like a gold shimmer sometimes i just sort of use it as a highlighter i haven't got a highlighter brush which is like a fan brush so i'm just using the side of my blush uh brush and i'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose there just to you know make it pop 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 pop, pop. so if you look at the shape of your face you know there's bits where natural light hits it you know so like your forehead just right center you know, that brow bone, your nose, your cheeks, um, your chin. So those are the bits you want to highlight, the bits where light naturally hits it. Um, and back to this two-pound palette. It's just the best thing ever. Look, it's finished. That sort of lighter brown is what I use to contour my nose, just to darken it a little bit. Again, you're just using the light, you know, and seeing how the shadows are playing in your face. So wherever there is a shadow, you use the darker colors. Wherever there is light, you use a highlighter. So that's how you sort of bring out the shape of your face. And you can sort of, maybe not change the shape of your face, but sort of create a look if you want it, like a more angled look. I just tend to stick to what is what the Lord is giving me because I, I, I really don't know how to do the other things. I need to practice more. I haven't watched makeup tutorials in a while and I really need to. My friend Glory, she does like really good makeup tutorials and um, I think I'm going to put her link below and you can check it out and um, she's really good with makeup. It's always popping and sort of like a natural look as well but you know just highlighting um, and not enhancing but highlighting already beautiful features. So shout out to Glory. I'm going to put uh, the link to her YouTube channel below. Feel free to subscribe. 
and if you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel already i don't know what you're waiting for what exactly are you waiting for anyway so girls you need to put yourself out there you need to go to the places where the people you're likely to, that you want to date are likely to be you know for me that's online dating and to be honest i'm not even gonna lie to you i am on a couple of dating sites okay um <clears throat> and i have no shame about it you know i because i've seen people who are, i'm going for a wedding in december where they met online you know i was telling you about my night out i got this mascara from boots by the way 12 pounds it is mac it's beautiful i quite like it well no it was 12 pounds that sounds really expensive it is it's not 12 i did not spend 12 pounds on mascara maybe i did maybe i did Ah, oh, man, I need to stop this bougie life. I am not, I can't afford it yet. This is why me needs me, man. Any hoozy, anyway. So we went out, it was fun. I was building a relationship. You know me, I love to dance. There was Afro beats, there was pop. It was actually, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. So we went out for dinner. Oh, that is Teddy by Mac. Look at those lips. And apparently my nostrils as well. I do apologize, guys. So I normally will stop here, but I think I... <laughs> you know you love me. <clears throat> I think I'm going to line my lips a little bit here. Still with those brows. Don't you think, guys? Like, brows make the makeup, I think. Brows and lip, good lip color just brings everything in together. Anyway... We went out on this night out and you know a couple of my mates were looking you know single not a couple just the one and you know we we're just having a bit of banter and they're like oh is your husband here i'm like nah mate i don't think my husband is here that's not to say my husband might not go clubbing but i don't think my husband will be looking for a wife in a club he probably will be looking for his wife in the church you know, and for me, you know, I don't know. I don't think I'll be looking for my husband in the club. There are a couple of cute guys there, but, you know, I don't even have the confidence to go and speak to anyone. And there's this presumption, to be fair, that the guys in the club don't go to church. But I went to the club and I go to church. And to be honest, I love Jesus. I'm not even going to lie about it. I mean, I'm not going to be in a club every time. I haven't gone clubbing since 2019, December, and I tend to only go clubbing like once a year, just to sort of let it loose, you know, give, it's either I go dancing in a wedding, and there hasn't been any weddings lately, or I go to club. So that lipstick that I used was by Avon. I don't know the colour number, but I quite like it. Um, and you know, they don't really sell Avon in the stores, but it's my mom's lippy actually. This technique right here is called sponging. You know, the brothers let us in on this technique. I got this sponge from the African hair shop. And you just keep going until you get the curls that you desire. So I tend to do this every morning, morning. Keep going. I just needed to check in the mirror to see if I was achieving that desired look guys do you know what makeup is it's just really great i mean my, my my i'm naturally beautiful i know that thank you very much uh yeah but sometimes you just put a bit of makeup just to just touch up and give it that little something something the world's not perfect you know we are not perfect so what we do then, since the fall, the world wasn't perfect. What we do then is to package. You have to work with your raw materials and make it look something, something. Make it look spicy. You know, that's not to say you're not beautiful, you're not smart, you're not, you know, popping. You're not sexy. That's not what it is. You're just sort of packaging it, bringing it all together, making it look, you know, nice. And for some reason, I sound southern these days. I don't know what that's about. I think it's the husky little cough there. Guys, I am absolutely knackered. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is a hairbrush toothbrush. It's an old toothbrush that we convert into a hairbrush to, just to slick those edges down. Um, I don't know if I used a bit of gel here at the time of recording. 
and another brush for the back just because I don't like the back having those sort of curls look at this makeup your girl is popping your girl is popping anyway so I hope I hope you, you you feel ready for the world I hope you feel like you can do this you know I hope you feel like you can put yourself out there and I know that it's hard believe me I've been there you know I have been there where it's difficult but guys girls you can't lose faith you need to keep praying and you need to keep believing that God is good enough to meet your heart desires God is good enough to provide the man of your dreams and tick all your boxes okay I, I hope you are able to um, believe that uh, that is Pokoraban Lady Million probably one of the best scents I have ever used although it is not my go-to scent my go-to scent is very irresistible by Givenchy for those of you who are taking notes and thinking baby girl's birthday is coming up soon we need to bless her life but anyway thank you guys so much for sticking around I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna head out well I already did head out to church uh, speak to you soon. Bye.